a breach. The men are wavering. What is up my fellow Trojans? Okay, we are back here with part... I think it's 16. I believe it's 16. Hold on, let's go ahead and see real quick. Yep, part 16. Okay, we're back here with part 16 of our Galatian campaign. Okay guys, big news. We have hit 1,000 subscribers. I think we're at actually like 1,300 now. So, I appreciate all the support, like major growth, extreme amount of growth um, in the last month. Um, so, I do appreciate it. Um, I believe we were having a little bit of an issue here in Africa, all right, with the fleets. Okay, the uh, fleets are definitely an issue. The Roman fleets are just absolutely just destroying ours and taking our towns. We had to end up taking this fleet all the way back to over here to deal with those pirates. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try to retrain, get some more troops in this fleet. And then we're going to head over and try to handle the Roman fleets so we can start getting our armies over, okay, into Sicily. Okay, we got Dacios... We got our king here. I think we lost another army. Yeah, we did. We did lose one of those armies, didn't we? Mm, not good. Where are we? Thapsis. That's where we're building the barracks. So we're going to go ahead and move this army back. Okay. Go ahead and put them in patrol stance. Um, we're going to wait until this army is replenished until we start moving in on them. Uh, yeah, we're missing another cav unit. Alright, well, we'll just get a chariot unit temporarily. Let's go ahead and look at over our provinces. They're having some public order issues. We're not even this taxing them. Statistical information about the They're doing province. fine. How's the Ethiopia right doing? Shows the elements okay, you really needed to and stop. Status of public order. And, the and stop. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off, actually. Where is it? Game settings. Yep, none. Battle advice, none. Cool. Don't know why I didn't do that before. Uh, Rhoda's still down there. You guys are weird. What are you doing here? Yeah, everything's pretty solid. Oh yeah, that's the other thing that's really tricky is... Rome is pretty much like just absolutely dominating Greece, okay? And our ancient ally, Pergamon, got taken out. Okay, so really it's up to Bithynia. And, you know, the Thracians to kind of hold them off. Um, Athens ended up backstabbing us, obviously. I might go to war with Athens, honestly. Um, yeah, once this army is recruited. I think that's a good choice. Yeah, we're getting two Cappadocian Lancers. Can get more chariots in six turns hmm let's see 
Athens is pretty powerful though. I don't know if I want to tackle them too. So I'm just going to stick with this army and not go to war with them. Okay, we need more ships, like for sure. What's the garrison like? Pretty strong here in New France. So we'll get another fleet built. Ooh, we can actually get heavy raiders. Yeah, we'll get all those. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn. Oh, never mind. We got a skill to give out real quick. Sup, Brickte. <laughs> Public order would be nice. Commercial stimulation is always good. Empire maintenance is always good for us. And cultural conversion rate is very important. Yeah, plus seven. Okay, we'll end turn. Oh, see, Rome, man. It's a fleet. We're going to take the Apsis. Super annoying. Okay, whatever. Looks like we're going to have to move this army back to come try to take the Apsis and just absolutely take out that fleet. Super annoying. We just don't have the fleet to stop them. All right, so we're gonna just keep that army, that full stack of Galatia. It's definitely not gonna be enough. Okay, so we're gonna have to try to make some more money somehow so we can recruit more forces there. Because right now we're kind of stretched thin. You know, we have one, full, two full stacks in North Africa and we have a fleet working on a second. And then we have one full stack in Galatia with some garrison armies. But yeah, definitely. I mean, we probably definitely need three. I mean, maybe we could take Sicily. We could take Sicily, but then, you know, they still have holdings in North Africa, so it's kind of tricky. If we can get those Numidians to declare war, or those Numidian states that we freed up to declare war on Rome, then we have, like I said, we have them as a buffer state. And they can kind of just try to hopefully keep them contained. Absolutely not. Cartley are powerful. They're super powerful. And absolutely the not. Quit making me join these wars. Quit trying to get me to join. I have a, the, the biggest adversary on the map right now. And also, I'm probably going to be posting our Rome campaign a little bit more than this campaign. Simply because you guys like the Rome campaign more. Like, I get a lot more feedback. But the Galatian campaign will always hold a special place in my heart. All right, tids and messy. Why did? Oh yeah, because they took that. Okay, new political appointment. Mission failed. Hmm. All right. Well, next turn this army is going to be able to take that town back. We'll send them down to go take the boy back. We'll have them back up. Back them up. Okay. That fleet still being built. That fleet over here needs to get down here into Egypt and start making their way back into the theater of war in North Africa. Mm-hmm. Get, get another ramming ship. Okay, we can honestly almost go straight into any turn again. Let's go ahead and upgrade some of these cities. Um. Here we can just get another enclosed land. We need to upgrade our resources. That's what we need to do. Salamis, that's already upgraded. Purple dye is the neck. It's pretty expensive, I think. I think that makes us a lot, I believe. It makes us 18. The gold down here definitely makes us the most. But we can't upgrade that because we don't have enough money. So let's go up here. Let's take, uh, stop building that big town. That city. And then this, yeah. We'll get Barbarian Town. So that's going to get us, what, 30 talents of gold? Right now we're only making 15. It's going to double our money. So we'll do that. Nasmones are finally doing something. So is Cyrene. 
Okay, yeah, we're gonna definitely be able to take out that fleet this next turn. All right. Let's go ahead and end turn, see how it goes. Yeah, that army in Galatia is pretty solid, right? So it's got the Thuros Galatian Spears. It's got most of the Galatian Legionaries. It's got some Cappadocian Lancers. It's a pretty solid army there. Maybe even get some chariots in there. Um, then I, I have a lot of faith in it. Personally, I think that that's pretty good. Should be able to stop at least, you know, as long as they don't attack us with like three full stacks. I have talked to a wise woman and all speak of a treaty. Non aggression pack, yeah, I'll give that to you, Lusitani. Rome has a lot of enemies though, so they're gonna be spread thin, but as you can tell, they're definitely focusing in on Greece. So that's an issue. Might wanna even move our full stack to Nicomedia, you know, to try to hold the Hellespont. Maybe even make some forays into there. We can no what? Stand what the heck, man? It is the NATO you know military access. To yeah, the heart I'll of anything. accept that. Consider this You're gonna proposal. pay me money though. They're about to get taken out by Athens. They're not gonna survive. I wonder if Rome and Athens are gonna go to war with one another. I mean, maybe I could take Pella. I don't. I don't know. It's kind of risky to move in with one full stack. It's very risky. Here come the Nasmones. They're finally and Cyrene. Nice. Okay, that's that's needed. Okay, attrition reports. All right, we're just gonna move you up here to Ankara. We're just gonna put you in a patrol stance. Okay, let's keep the fleet moving. Another heavy raider. Let's go and upgrade these guys. Okay, we can get another heavy raider. Let's just move in Magurix. Just auto resolve that real quick, obviously. Occupy. Keep you guys patrolling. Let's move this army in to take them out. Yeah, I'm just gonna auto resolve that. I don't want to fight that. It's a fair victory, but only lost a naked spear. Alright, so that fleet's destroyed. Okay. So that should free us up. We can actually start preparing our armies to move into Sicily. I don't know why they broke their military alliance. It's actually like really upsetting. You get trade agreements with these guys. In my Lord's name, be welcome. And may the blessings of the gods bring you the profit of the day. Three grand. Probably Please three grand here as, as well. The most humble audience for your terms, my poor Probably more actually. Now, Probably six. As you will. No, we can get like fifty-five hundred. Your generous nature does your people credit, but really, such a thing is not necessary. Fifty-four. Nice. I am humble. I don't know why they're doing this. Please be seated and take wine to cool the head before we hit the day with words. Okay, we're getting a lot of money. My good. These townings, they're also at war with Rome. That's good. Rome's expanded to even right there. Yeah, they're pretty powerful. Yeah, I don't trust Athens, though, at all. With Thapsis, we're going to have to start building that warrior lodge again. It's also getting enclosed land. Here, we're going to get a shrine to Tautus. Actually, we need to get... This another sacred enclosure because we need to keep up this conversion rate. Okay, we need to replenish before we can make any more moves. All right, we're going to go and turn. Hmm. 
Yeah, see, Sicily's like pretty much undefended. I think we really should start moving in on them. If Rome takes out that last Ration tribe right there, I'm definitely going to move up a full, that full stack at Ankara and help support the Bithynians. I mean, they got three full stacks right there, though. Plus, no, four full stacks. Four armies up there. Rome's going to find that hard to deal with. At least you'd think. Rome's armies just seem to absolutely trample. Like, the AI Rome seems to absolutely trample other AI armies. War with the Greeks would be fun. You know, war with Athens would be pretty interesting. We just don't have the forces there to conduct it. I'm thinking about doing Kingdom Come Deliverance. Um, you know, I think the commentary with that would be really fun. Um, because it's super intense. It's a super uh, hype game. Uh, you know, with this game, you know, it's pretty, pretty calm, pretty chill. It's like, you know, it's like chess almost. But, uh, you know, Kingdom Come Deliverance, if you guys don't know, is a medieval simulator, pretty much. Um, it takes place in the Kingdom of Bohemia um, during King Wenceslas. The gods speak through thunder and No, <laughs> you're dead. You're going to die. Um, but yeah, it's actually really good. Like, the combat is, like, super realistic. It's super challenging. Um, I really enjoy the combat system in it. Um, you have to actually eat. You have to actually sleep. All right, new political appointment. Okay, rebellion in Thapsis, of course. Rebellion imminent in Libya. In Libya, what? Okay, well, looks like we got to get a general here. How much again? I hate that. I hate that. Why does it cost so much? Whatever. There goes all our cash. All right, we'll keep moving this fleet over. It's going to take a while to get there. Magurix, you know what to do. Start moving up. Get ready for the invasion. Right, this army's pretty much tapped. It's almost tapped out. Hopefully we don't lose any units here. Oh, no! 5% and we lost all of those units. That's actually, like, really tragic. Like... Yikes. 5% we lost all of those. Okay, well, we're obviously going to have to get another cavalry unit. And we, need, we can't do that. Like, that's... We need to get some more military buildings in here ASAP. Let's get this fleet up to Thapsis. We're gonna get this fleet to like, yeah, we're gonna get this fleet to Carthage. Okay. Try to get some more money somehow. I don't know how we're gonna do that. I don't think we'll be able to. We'll be able to earn it back, I suppose. Check politics. We haven't done that in a while. Seems like everyone's pretty happy. All right, let's go ahead and turn. Not have a battle this episode. Really, we just got to. Ooh, who are you going to attack? Who are you going to attack? Definitely Thapsis. Mm-hmm. Oh, we won, actually. Nice. But we lost all of our ships. We're going to enslave you. Yeah. So we defeated a couple navies of Rome. But definitely need to replenish here. For a while so it's probably gonna be you know it's probably gonna be a very uneventful episode simply because we have to wait oh Rome's bringing up an army from Iol maybe we we're gonna have to replenish or we're gonna be in a world of hurt
The Romans got a full stack right there. They're probably gonna try to attack Popadiva. Hmm, but like I said, Bithynia has a very strong military presence. So do those two Thracian tribe. So Rome is gonna be having a hard time there, I think. I might send that army up to just protect Popadiva, actually. Protect that last bastion that we have right there. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, let's do it. Start moving that army. Maybe get some Thracian warriors along the way. Those uh, Falxmen, those Thracian Falxmen should hold up against the Romans pretty well and should cause, I believe, quite a bit of damage. So, yeah, I think that's pretty smart. I think that's what we're going to do. No. <laughs> I can't go to war with anybody else, man. I'm sorry. I mean, I got a lot of allies, though. But, yeah, we're going to move that army to Pulpadiva. It sucks we don't have another shock. You know, another shock unit in that army. We don't have any chariots or, or some artillery. Let's do, uh, yes, yeah, syncretism. Alright, we're replenishing here, finally. And King Magrix is replenishing as well. That's good. Okay. Let's keep getting this fleet moving. We're just going to dock him in Lapoy for right now. Let him replenish up a little bit more. And, yeah, we can get those raiders again here. Next turn. Hmm. I'm trying to get a chariot unit now. Let's just get another one of these. This patrol stance here. Rome's got an army right there. Rome's also got an army over here somewhere. Send that spy to go try to locate it. I don't know where it went. Alright, let's get this army moving. Uh, it's going to take a long time to get there. Hopefully we can get there before Rome tries to take the city. Or we can try to take it back. Yeah, I don't want any of those guys. Let's make sure all these guys are deployed. Looks like they are. Alright, we can go ahead and just end turn again. Actually, right here, let's get... Let's get a harbor. Alright, let's end turn. Oh, uh, yeah. No. Nope. Might not reach it in time. Might have to get a general with some mercs. Try to hold that city. I guess we're going to wage a war in Thrace. I mean, that's actually better than letting them attack Bithynia and waiting for them to come. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Might be too late, unless the Thracians want to come in and help us. Looks like they might. Bithynia might be able to push that army back if I set them as a war target. So we're going to do that. Rhodos. Bithynia has another full stack right there. And one right there. They have four full stacks right there. So that's... It's pretty good. Yeah, and see those Thracians are going to come up and try to help us out. So is Bithynia. Nice. Nice. These allies are actually being of some worth for us. We've got 16 minutes left in the episode. 1,304. Alright, trade. Yes. Or oh, agriculture. Let's try agriculture. Nice. Got some level ups. Try to make sure Rome ain't trying to... There's their army right there. Carthage is pretty much almost gone. I mean, they got some transports. They're recruiting more troops there. But that's about all they can do. Let's get this spy just posted like right here. To kind of see their movements. Oops. About right here. Where's our other spy? Right here. Let's go ahead and send her this way. Or send him this way. Okay, our fleet, let's get it up into Carthage, get it moored in Carthage. 
That way, if they want to come and try to attack us with any fleets, we have our fleet just sitting right there. Okay, we're going to have to wait until we can get some better infantry in order to fill out these two armies before we make any more moves. Just give them some skills. I don't really care. Okay, get into patrol stance. Let's get that army moving again. We'll have you patrol as well. We're also going to set you as a war target. I kind of want to give Carthage some money simply because I don't want them to die. Welcome, honored guests. I want them to put How up a fight, so I'll give them 22. Your terms are wise. All right, we're going to just end turn Francis again. I know we've just been ending turn back to back, to back to back to back, but. Yeah, Rome's just kind of on the defensive right now, it seems. Uh, we, I mean, we could launch an assault, but are we going to have enough troops? I mean, one and a half stacks is decent, but we can also recruit mercs, I guess. Yeah, let's just do it. I don't. I, I just want to get it over with, honestly. Let's just try to invade Acragas. At least try to take Acragas and then see where it goes. Yo, nice. Yeah, get that fleet out of here. Push them back. See, it kind of looks like they're freeing up the space for us to kind of get our troops over there. So let's try to do that. Bithnia, come on, do it. Do it. Come on. Yes. Yeah, push him out of there. Nice. So our town of Pulpadiva was secured. Saved by our faithful allies. Okay, blackmail. Do nothing. I don't really care. Peace negotiated. Rebellion imminent in Thrace. Ally confirms war target. Political intrigue. Increasing rank for Admiral. Alright, let's get this force boarded. Okay, we're gonna invade. We got a full stack here. Get them on the ships. Get moving towards the Kragas. Let's get this other army out there as well. Here, we're going to get this army moving back up here. Get some more forces in this army. Just get some temporary levies, I suppose. We're going to have a rebellion again here soon somewhere. Oh yeah, I think we had a rebellion over here in Libya, huh? Oh, we ended up not having one. Cool. Alright, we'll patrol. Actually, you're not even needed here anymore. So, get out of here. Cool, cool. Got it. A member of your family has been murdered by a brother. The killer is insisting they had no choice. His brother chopped down a sacred tree and used it for firewood. Now let's praise him, because it is a sacred tree. <laughs> let's go ahead and get another cattle pens. Let's get this force moving. Into the Hellespont. Across the Hellespont. And up to Pulpadiva. Let's go ahead and get that. Ooh, but this can get his artillery. Ooh, yes, please. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and turn. Caxtos. Just Caxtos. All right here. And let's get you some replenishment. Actually, let's get some more ships. We're gonna need a bigger fleet. Like, we should be able to take a Crox in Sicily pretty fast. Uh, Rome. Obviously, we're going to have to get some more forces. Probably. Yeah, it looks like they're moving all their forces up towards Panormus. 
We had nine minutes left in the episode. I might make this episode a little longer simply because I want to get a battle in for you guys. Um, maybe like an hour long episode, possibly. All right, so we got a rebellion in Popadiva. Should be able to go take it out. I would say. Thank you, Athens. Appreciate that. I think Bithynia is going to continue their assault on that full on that legion right there. If we could take back Neosis, you know that's silver as silver mines, so that would help our economy a lot in order to recruit more. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Italy, and then that'll probably be the end. Actually, let's take Rome, you know, mostly out, and then that'll probably be the end of this campaign. It's been a it's been a fun one. I'll, I'll give it that. It's been it's been a blast. I'm sure we'll have quite a bit of fun battles before. We have to end the series. I'm stuck between Carthage and, and Parthia for the next campaign. A treaty would be an Military hour. alliance, Short absolutely. Against our I'm always enemy. willing to get allies. Now we got like nine. Ah, oh, you. Oh, we won. Nice. Yeah, get out of here. Ransom. Let's get an art. Alright, Rebellion of Popadiva, Rebellion of Lapoy. Where's that army? It's right there. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna be able to come take them out. Let's get two cav units to help fill that army out. Okay, let's land at Akragas. Magurix is gonna take the lead. I'm actually going to fight that simply because I don't want to lose that many troops. I don't want to lose too many land troops because they might march some legions down there. So I'm going to go and fight this. That is a dangerous course. Set up a blockade. Strike them down. Actually, we won't lose that many. It's only 94%. So we'll just yeah do that. We didn't lose that many at all. Occupy. Okay, so we have invaded Sicily successfully. And we can get some Syracuse and Marines to help fill out this army. So I can get one of them. McGurk's got another skill, so let's go ahead and get him skilled cavalryman. Experienced archer. Another experienced archer. Our archers are pretty OP. Alright. Let's go and take that rebellion out up here in Pulpadiva. We can reach it. We can't even reach it. We're going super slow. Okay. Let's go back to patrol. We're going to go take Panormus next, and I'm probably going to fight it. Okay. So let's go ahead and tear it down. Tear that down. Tear it down because all these buildings cause public order issues. All right, I'm going to turn. Oh, so Sakarapo or whatever this admiral's got a skill. Let's go ahead and get him military logician, military conscriptor. Got any skills for navy? Yeah, nice. Minus four upkeep for all ships. Battle at Panormus. Um, if this episode, we're definitely causing Rome hurt by taking Sicily, and then that opens the gateway to Italy, and we can uh, get this campaign almost finished with. Well, yeah, like I said, guys, I'm kind of stuck between Carthage and Parthia. I mean, they're both very fun to play. Um, Carthage is pretty difficult because you got to deal with Rome, but it is pretty fun. I, I, I really do like Carthage. I think they're definitely one of my favorite factions besides Parthia. Um, I really like playing with cataphracts. Uh, I just really like, I'm a big fan of cataphracts in general.
The enemy mm. casts a shadow over us all. Will no. you send your soul? These brazen fools deserve only death. Can your mighty generals take the butcher's blade to them? No. You are honorable, worthy, and strong, and only military alliance with Visky. Friends with you. Yeah, of course. I'll take another ally. Why not? You pay me money. Nice. Um, we'll allow him to conduct business. I, I like Carthage. Okay, we didn't replenish. Okay, that sucks. That kind of sucks. And we ended up not recruiting those units because we tore it down. Oops. Let's go get a warrior lodge. And a sacred enclosure. Let's also get Fisherman's Wharf. Okay, we're gonna have to wait to replenish in order to do anything there. Ooh. Yeah, let's get an iron mine. Alright, we finally reached into our territory. Nice. Okay. What are these? Thiny rump whatever warriors. They got a uh, you know, pretty good melee attack. That's for sure. The Mad Eye Peltas are pretty good. Let's just get a chariot unit. Let's go ahead and turn. Got one minute and 30 seconds left. I really want to get a battle in. Like, really bad. I don't think the last episode we had a battle either. Nasmones are coming in. So is the Tidzameshi. The Tidzameshi, you think they would be immune to. Hmm. We're going to surrender to Carthage because we like Carthage. We want Carthage to be our friend. Oh, ooh. Mercenaries! Wow. What the heck, man? There we go. Probably went overboard on it, but oh well. Got to make sure to secure the province. Ransom. Finish them. Let's fire all the mercs. I actually keep those. Get rid of the Judean slingers. Oh, another military logician. Logic conscriptor. There's timer. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit longer. Let's go ahead and patrol. Go ahead and get another meeting ground. Did we replenish? We did. Okay, let's fight this. Dude, it's a very, very nice army there. Patrol. Or just stay there. Bring in these guys to help. Get these two mercs. I think we can handle them.
they got some gas graffitis. They got a unit of gas graffitis. Those guys are really good. <laughs> like, their armor piercing damage is insane. I'm going to try to get some of those. Make sure not to tear down the building that I could get them from. But, I mean, our archers are definitely, you know, supreme. Shouldn't have any issue there. Where's the re where's our reinforcements coming in? Right here. Okay. So, I guess we could deploy here. So we're going to have our Judeans on the right flank. We're going to have Galatians right there. We're going to have, of course, our Chosen Swordsman over there on the left. Cav over here on the right. Let's start. All right. It's a lot of Romans, guys. It's a lot of troops. We'll just bring up the Galatian Legionaries. And those other mercenaries. Might want to bring all the Cav, actually. Because we don't know how it's going to be. Suppress advice. Yeah, definitely bring those guys. And these two Mercs. And the Archers, of course. Another archer unit. Let's get those guys placed together actually with ours. Okay, these guys will be the second line. Let's see what they do. I think they might be. Yep, they're coming out against us. Where are those two cab units? Get them out here right away. They're going to come try to sally out. Italian Slingers. There's the Gastrophides. They got insane range. Come on, you can reach them. Come on. Come on. Hit them, hit them, hit them. Check that flank. Okay, they're in shield wall. Ready, awaiting orders. What are your orders? Archers! Hold your fire. Charge! Galatians charge into them. Sending the elephants as well. Hit those Italian slingers. Hold fire at will off. We are at your command. Okay, we need some reserves up here. So we're gonna use these two mercs along with these guys, naked spears to hold over here. Legionaries, hold your fire. Get up here behind the second line. Archers, reform. Broken them. Let's go charge the rest of those cav. Double swords charging. Broken them over here. Let's go ahead and sweep around. Those guys aren't going to stand a chance. Archers, you need to start targeting their gastrophetes. 
targeting all of their missile troops. Charge in. Where's our skirmishers? Might need some Glacian Legionaries down here. It's like well, that's where all their heavy troops are at. Alright, send in the shield wall. Archers, hold. Throw peel them. Charge in. Elephants charge into the back of this mass. Archers reform. Get all these guys back. The ones are still with ammo. Let's get formed up. Send in the legionaries. Charge. Charge into the back. Actually, let's go get that general. Should have been pretty devastating. These guys are holding their own. I mean, the Judeans are suffering some uh, casualties. But these legionaries should be able to help hold, you'd think. All right, pull out. Get those elephants out. We got their general here. Let's get some close ups. Get out here. General's getting messed up. Galatian nobles. Get a charge in there. This other two. 
getting prepared. A Galatian Noble Swordsman are getting a lot of good kills. The Truscans. Swordsman around for a flanking charge. Get those elephants over here as well. Relations get around here. Naked spears are doing good. Get that flank charge in. Charge! Galatians. Those guys Triari, don't mind if I do. Actually, those generals are holding. Where's those noble sword, noble calf? Get that over here now. Got some Galatian legionary, Galatian legionaries coming in. I'm gonna take out these Triari. Galatian Cavs should be able to handle them, handle this general. Charge! Galatian Legion is form up. General suffering now. Oh, the Truscans are really holding their own. I mean, they were at least. Looks like they're not holding their own very well now. Let's get our cab out. Yeah, they completely shattered over here. Get ready for a charge with them. This guy's get placed over here. The general's almost dead. Let's go and fast forward a little bit. Charged in. The general is gone. And they're over with. They're done. Let's, let's let these guys get in and get some good kills. I mean, they'll all die anyways, but... Yeah! 
Whoa, what are you doing all over there? Weirdos. Alright, let's end the battle. Good one. Nice. Occupy. All right, guys, that will be the end of part 16. We have managed to get a foothold in Sicily, and next is Rome. Parry the Trojan out.